Tappy activated. Time to plug into the most mysterious part of the Genesis block history. Every bot knows that Satoshi Nakamoto is likely a pseudonym. After Bitcoin was launched, Nakamoto disappeared, leaving behind little trace of their identity. Oh ho, this data is hard to process. Nakamoto mined the original block using a basic CPU, unlike today's miners who use specialized machines. Back then, the difficulty level for mining Bitcoin was set at 1, which is incredibly easy compared to today's 89. The block that followed the Genesis block, known as Block 1, wasn't mined until five days later, on January the 8th. This is weird since the average time between blocks has always been around 10 minutes, even back in 2009. Some claim that the delay was intentional to test Bitcoin's stability, possibly with a backdated timestamp. Others see a symbolic meaning, comparing the six-day gap to the biblical story of creation. Let me engage a different memory board for a sec and tell you that Bitcoin's founder claimed that, like gold, the supply of Bitcoin should be limited and finite. Just 21 million coins can be mined altogether. Once miners have unlocked all Bitcoin, the supply will be tapped out. Unless someone alters Bitcoin's protocol to allow for a larger supply, that is. Remember to plug into the next video to learn more Genesis block secrets. Tappy deactivated.